Hi, friends. Greetings. Welcome to Monday, June 3rd, 2024. Uh, Howard is back from vacation. Uh, unfortunately, Dennis cannot be with us tonight. He has some family matters to take care of. I think he's in tomorrow, but wonderfully and uh, serendipitous for us. We have Mr. Judy Tenuta on board to chat everything Howard and uh, and be our, our guest sit-in for tonight. So thanks for coming in. Yeah, Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Yay. Okay. And then, of course, I have uh, Xavier with us. Mr. <gasps> And yeah, we're going to talk about something new and different today, which would be we're going to start out without any fanfare or weird stuff going on, but we're going to show you the calendar and we're going to see where we're at right now with Howard and his schedule of events. So this is what it looks like thus far. And we are right here on June 3rd. So if things go according to schedule, I don't remember why he was off on the 19th. I can't remember what that was. What was June wrong? 10th. I don't think that was why he was off though. Well, um, it's June to Juneteenth. I mean, I don't know what else it could be. It is Juneteenth, but that yes, but he was off. I don't know why. Oh no. Maybe that's because it's a holiday. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, uh, know. I don't know what I'm saying. If it's a holiday, you know, he's going to take it. And by the way, can we uh, clear the air here? He, he's always on vacation. You can't say you're you're no longer taking a break when you're still physically in the same spot. You were taking a break. Well, he did vacate the premises that is known as the Hamptons. And oh go no, down he downgraded. He still considered it vacation. He kept saying when we were yeah. on vacation. When we were on vacation, blah blah is blah. He, blah. It's like he's at he's either at Universal or Disneyland. I mean, come on. This is true, except now he's getting some work done in his house. Um, I oh, know no. we to the show today, but uh, Judy, did you listen to the show? No. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So I, I'm the only one here that knows what, what went oh, on. Oh, look, you're such a lucky. I'm not girl. lucky. As a matter of fact, it's a chore and a burden. It it borders on burden at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you know the way um Howard does victory laps on his shows. I'm actually gonna do a couple of victory laps for yes. us commentary from people on the YouTube channel. And just as a programming note, I know today is June 3rd. I have downloaded and re-uploaded all of May's podcasts. So Yay. those will be done this week and they will be on all of your listening spots for podcasting and all that good stuff. Uh, I will tell you honestly that tonight's show has a lot of Beth in it, which means that this will probably be the only time <laughs> able to listen to the show Yay. because once we're once it's over i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get that uh that they've email. already put it in a submission yeah it's and, definitely gonna happen and we're like three minutes into the show so what did we talk about today so he was off for two weeks and here's what he talked about uh, as i run it down he talked about the trump verdict then he had beth come in and talk about everything that has to do with italy then he spoke to Ronnie, who's sick with COVID. Then he spoke to JD about his jerking off techniques. None of this is things you want to hear. Um, then he did two uh, uh, obits. One for that. What's that dude's name? Who's the basketball guy? Oh, Bill Walton. Walton. Yeah. Right. And then the other one for the Super Size Me guy. Spurlet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whatever, yeah, Morlock Spurling. What Morlock, was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Spurling or Spurling or Spurling or What is his name? Uh, Martin. I don't know. He uh, died like a week and a half ago. How am I supposed to remember? I know. I know. But um, so, of course, uh, John Hine came in and said he, you know, he had Morgan a Spurlock. Thank you, Otto. Morgan <laughs> Spurlock. Thank you. It's a weird name. It's a weird name to actually just flow off of the tongue. Morgan Spurlock. It's John Hine's hero, right? Obviously. Well, apparently well, he was a, he was a total there. sexual deviant predator. So, Who yeah, maybe. Did Howard mention that? No, he did not. You I, mentioned that uh, he he self confessed like sex abuser and stuff like that. Oh, right. He just got he got canceled like immediately. Yes, he canceled himself. No one came out. He literally <laughs> that, when, when the Me Too came out. He's like, hey, by the way, guys, Me Too. I sexually harassed my assistant. I did all these horrible things. I'm a sex addict. 
blah, 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 blah. He said, be strong. Times will change. You know what? It's so funny when people think that they can get ahead of something like that. It's like, there's no getting ahead of that. There's no getting ahead of it. You know? He can do it himself. How can you be me too? Do you, do you do so nobody was asking. But apparently John Hine uh, had like a discussion with him that he really didn't like his movie um, because. Super Size Me? Yeah, because obviously that, that much, you know, uh, fast food, you would get sick and it's really not good to show that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, who gives a shit what you have wait, to say? Wait, 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 wait. He's, he's right. opposed to just you. stating he, obvious facts? Well, no, the funny thing is, is that Morgan Sparlock is synonymous with going to fast food chains, eating too much, gaining weight, and all that yeah. goes with that. And there's you know what's really weird? Like, uh, several... Guy. Hold on one second. He thinks he's that guy. Like he thinks that he is like the king of fast food. Meanwhile, Morgan Spurlock, whose name I cannot, I cannot get that out of my mouth. Um, just oh, what are you talking about? Rest in peace, Morgan Freeman. No, Benjamin, I hate you. I hate that you did that just now. You're a jerk. Um, oh, do you really? No, I, I can't imagine. That's I can't imagine. That's what's going. Oh uh, no, the voice of how did. The voice of Jesus and God die. No, I don't think he did. I think they're just messing with another, another Morgan? Because he's a Morgan. And he's a... Got it. I hate you guys. I hate so you. On, the the TMZ real quick. There was even evidence that the movie, you know, he wasn't being truthful about McDonald's and he was an alcoholic, supposedly. I don't know. You know well, what? Well, here, here's the thing. Angels. What? Other people, other like, you know, like scientific nutritionists, try to replicate his results and none of them could ever achieve what he did. So you take that for what it is. I never saw the movie, but what exactly did he? I haven't seen it either. He, he did a documentary was uh, where he exclusively, all he did for 30 days is eat McDonald's every single meal. Right, I do that. And towards like the, you know, like day 15, like his blood pressure was all crazy. His kidneys were failing and there's other stuff, you know? He uh, had a colonoscopy or something. Yeah, he had all kinds of. Uh, apparently, he felt the, the the need to put his his private part in his assistant's mouth too. Apparently, that's so, a side effect of eating. Are you saying that when he did this and the results that he showed, he they nobody else could actually do the same thing he, that he did? I mean, if you if you look at the movie, there was a doctor involved. You know, whatever doctors tell him, you need to stop this. Your kid is going to fail. Blah 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 blah. Um. You know, and it was really like horrible things happened to his body allegedly. But like years later, other people try to replicate that. People who are nutritionists and stuff like that, and they were never able to f huh, get the curious. results. I, I'm making a joke. I mean, Did we really need the movie to tell us that you shouldn't be eating McDonald's every day? I mean, <laughs> no, right? Everyone knows that. To tell you Not that me. your salt intake is going to okay. go through the roof, and that you know that it can't possibly be good for you, although. I will confess, I know people that eat fast food pretty much every day. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? How do they feel? Uh -oh. I feel great. Ah. Ah, I, you know, and I'm always shocked, shocked and amazed at, at, at his ability to. Uh... <laughs> Mr. Rick, I thought you ate Fancy Feast every day. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. All right, so we're gonna get. Uh, yeah, so well. Oh, yeah, and she yeah, oh, I worry about you. But you know what though? The don't oh, shut up. The, the the fact that that John Hines is you know the dude died like what a week and a half ago and he still has like the hater aid going. Yeah, what a dick. I mean, he's such an irreprehensible irre piece he, of. Crap. He's just jealous. That guy's more famous. Absolutely, than he is. For, exactly, and but John Hine thinks that he should be. He's in that same circle. The, the fast food aficionado. Yeah, drinking yeah. Howard's Kool Aid. Yes, and I did not. Um, I did not put that clip in because we have so much Beth stuff to get to, and you know how much we love to go to rip on Beth. So I got a new boom mic, and it's a little bit weird, and I'm trying to adjust myself here. Okay, without it sound great. Well, see my mic. It's like it's a low it's ride directional now, mic, isn't it? As opposed to you know going overhead or whatever, and it just feels weird. Maybe my chair has to be. What's, what's your what's your uh, gain in padding settings? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Shut up. <Okay. laughs> All right, here I raise myself up. Mo, what's I digress? I'm digressing. What's that little green guy behind you? 
This guy? A sheep? Yeah. Oh. It's a sheep. It's a blue sheep. Oh, wow. Cool. It looks a little green in, in the... He's, um, he's made by, um... He's cool. Sevens. And he's called, um, Radioactive Sheep. <laughs> Very good. 15 years old, and I finally found a USB plug that would actually work with him. Sure, there's a lot of Morgan Fairchild references going on in the chat. Yeah, well, people like her. I don't know. My wife, Morgan Fairchild. Yeah, that's the it's not ticket. upside down, Autobot Al. It's not upside down. You can see the wording right there. And this is the way it has to be on this because the yeah, yeah, yeah. weighs like almost four pounds. And so if it was any, yeah. it would be hanging. Where's the Optimus Prime? Okay, so Autobot Al was on with us last week. And Xavier and I were talking about how I have um, the Optimus Prime <laughs> Transformer. And yes. I'm going to put him on display because what's the point of having something fun like that if you can't put it out? So I'm going to – I saved some space on the other wall here to put a shelf. And so I'm going to put him up there at some point in the near future. See, right here. See, that space is reserved for that. Is he still in the box? Of course he's still in the box. All right. Take it out of the box. Oh, what happened to me? No, it's worth something. I, I don't care. Robo, it's the RoboSense self-transforming Optimus Prime. Yeah, you, you can't have things like that and not play with them or do something. Uh, with them. Yes, we can. So at some point, some rainy day, I'm going to um, open him up and see if I can figure him out and see if I can make him do like cool stuff and whatever. Like, for me, he'll be like Prospector Prospector Pete. Sometime oh, during the, the summer. Sometime oh, during the, the summer, box. we'll do that. All right, let's get started with the show. So uh, the only reason I have this clip is because for some reason, Howard was going to uh, Jason about whether or not he thought that Trump would get jail time. And the pause on this was extraordinary. Um, he is. Wait, who did he ask? Jason? Jason, of all people. Oh, yeah. Howard okay. Stern Show executive Jason. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, here, here's his reply. So, Jill, do you say jail time or not? No jail time, unfortunately. No jail time. Okay. What about uh, who else do it? He's going to be on opinion? house arrest, run around. I'm sorry. Let's see who else's opinion we respect around here. Jason's a big political guy. Jason, respect. jail time or no jail time? <laughs> Wake up. Jason. He's He's people are getting paid. No. Can you even imagine? They don't, they don't even show up and they're getting paid. It's shocking. Honestly, it, it's shocking that this is. And you're literally what, on a Zoom meeting? It's not I, hard to. I, to you like, know what? You they're know, not like, paying attention. They're probably all on their phones. Nobody's really paying they're attention. They're all like on Amazon and shit. And I think he did that just because he probably saw that Jason was doing something like preoccupied or like on his phone or something. I bet you he, I bet you he can monitor when they're in the studio. I bet well, you he's a Zoom call, right? Usually the admin can see it, what everybody else is doing. Oh, I don't know if they're always on the Zoom thing because then they that means that they'd have to all be prepared to come on air and he could choose anybody at any time. So I don't think they're ready for that. But what else what are they doing? Uh, they ain't producing a good show. I don't Jason know. Jason was popping was Ozempic. Exactly. He wishes. Jason, yeah. Jason is is ugly skinny, honestly. He's really like ugly skinny. He looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's, Who, who's that black weather guy that lost all that weight? Al Roker. Roker. Yeah, him and, uh, and uh, Al Sharpton when they lost their weight, and they just get all weird looking. Like their Al? heads still. No, who, who was uh, uh, who was it? the Reverend guy? The guy that. Yeah, Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. Yeah. They, he, yeah, all those guys—they lose the weight, but their heads stay, stay the same size. I know they're just like big and ugly. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. All right, so let's continue on a little bit. Kind of like Emily let's, Stern. Yeah. Let's. Oh, oh, did I even pull that up? Oh, uh, we, we can yeah. always just—that's easily. It's an easy one. So of course, Howard. Uh, I mean, this is really early in the show. We're we're at maybe seven twelve, seven fifteen at this point, but. Um, Here's, here's here's how it starts with the Italy. If thing. right now I could get a judge to give me restrictions on travel, <laughs> I would blow him. <laughs> I got to go to Italy. Woo, go. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> over the holiday, I oh it's uh, it's coming soon. Uh, coming over the soon. holidays, I mean over our two week uh, vacation, I um, yeah, say holiday two week. I wrote vacation. a song. It's all the same. I, I got to record it today so I can play it for you tomorrow. Um, okay. Please, it's called "Please Don't Send Me to Italy." So. 
this is what starts the whole thing. And then, of course, you know, <sighs> Beth at some point comes running down. But let me give you the build up to that so that you can appreciate the the sameness of the sentiments that keep coming back and forth. And again, you guys, I swear to God, um, no part of me would be um, still subscribed to Sirius if it wasn't because we do the show. Not like none. But here we are. Here we are doing this stupid ass show that is just absolutely atrocious. Um, all right, hang on, let me pull that up. Sorry, give me one second. I know. I I told you today there was there's no celebrities. There's nothing to latch on to. Uh, hey, hey! If you don't think Tiffany Haddish and Jelly Roll are celebrities, yeah. that I don't have to tell you. Oh. I I don't know anything about Tiffany Haddish, so we're gonna come back to her when when she comes in, which I and, guess is not and Jelly Roll. Where have I been? Incredible. <laughs> The next John Lennon. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's continue with this. Well, the other day she goes, because someone said, oh, you excited about Italy? I go, oh. And she goes, honey, are you really like this? I mean, do you really not want to go? And I wanted to say, I said, no, I'm excited about it. You know, it's just. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I really can't no, wait to go not. see the That's an old job. Museum. <laughs> Uffizi. You know, you would think that they're doing this trip on the cheap and that they're not going to have like private guides and, <clears throat> you know, at like opening or closing for him to go there early before the tourists and all this stuff. But conveniently enough, we find out that both Wolfie and Chris Wilding were in Italy over the two week vacation. Together? That they no, separately. Uh, Wolfie mm. was on it. Cruise and have no idea what uh, what Chris was doing out there, and all they could talk about was how he's going to hate it. There's too many people. There's graffiti everywhere. There's shit on the ground from dogs. There's tons of people walking around. Uh, you know, <clears throat> all the hotels are like so noisy. You can hear all the noise coming from outside. And I'm thinking to myself, my God, where did these people stay? You that hostels, those two. Exactly. It's like Italy knows it's loud. Italy knows that it's, you know, has Howard's people. staying in a castle. Oh, I, so I think I found the place that Howard is staying too. Did I send it to myself? Where, hold on. Uh, this is where I think he's staying. Howard's pretending he's going to sit and coach next to the bathroom in row 39, you know? Yes, that's exactly right. In animal class. And we all know since <laughs> he's going during the day that there's no possibility at all. Uh, that he's flying commercial. Just none. None. I mean, come on. All right, hold on. Let's get this up. Okay, this is the place I think he's staying at. Um, it's called the uh, Villa San Michel, and it is um, just a stone's throw away from Florence, but in the mountains so that you don't have to be around people. It's about sixteen hundred dollars a night, um, yeah. and this looks like kind of the kind of place that he would definitely stay at. I went searching to see what was like the very best hotel in all of like Florence, and this is what came up. So my thoughts are going to go with that. I'm pretty positive he didn't like you know get the room next door and the room above and the room below so that he'd have no noise. It looks like one of those places that has those shitty small toilets. The, you know, uh, right. And the cray paper that you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a yeah. nightmare. Can you imagine what the front desk is going to be thinking when they see Beth and him come in? Gargoyle <laughs> walking in the door. Right. So here he is talking about planning Italy. Here we go. Uh, uh, everyone's like, oh, you're going to love the pasta. I don't eat the fucking pasta, but I will there. Howard, uh, the time change is going to kill you, number one. Uh, and that's, and everything. Can I tell you my so plan? We're flying, we're flying in the morning. So that when we get there, it'll be like nighttime. And then Beth has a plan to stick me right in a bed in the hotel. Stick me in a bed. Okay, but what about the next one down? We go to something and it's not going to be open. The the time change is going to catch up with you. No, it, no, it will be open because it'll be nighttime there when we land. It'll be like 10 o'clock at night. He'll and get up gonna, in the morning there. I'll get up in the morning. The planning that had to go into getting King Baby to Italy must be shocking. It's just shocking. Um, 
Here's the intellectually incurious, of course, talking about. Bear and act like you're excited about seeing some old fucking buildings. And then you got to like, the best museums are in Manhattan. I don't go to those. I don't go (laughs) to a museum in Manhattan. You know why? Because I I don't care. He doesn't give a shit. Can I say Wolfie talking to Howard about Italy is like a surf talking to a king. Like it's, it, it, <laughs> they're not on the same fucking planet. Of Sorry course to meet the not. Curse. Of course Wolfie not. Couldn't even be anywhere near a microphone at this point. Really? Wolfie's on a cruise with like a thousand no. people all getting off in like Capri to see it for like an hour and then getting back on their ship. Is he going to tell Howard about the buffet? I mean, what, what... <laughs> Howard doesn't I, I like care. Her. I, don't think. I like how they're bragging about that. They're going to try the uh, pasta. Oh, this is such an exciting thing. Wait until Beth comes in. She's going to tell you all about the plans. Oh, my God. You're so going to eat. You're going to eat pasta. You're going to eat bread. You're going to have lunch and dinner. And it's like, my God, how how is this humanly possible that this is the way these people talk to each other? I can't wait till we get to the Beth thing. Um all right, I have a great GIF I'm going to play for you guys in a moment, too. So apparently there's some work going on at Howard's uh, house. and Which house? Uh, the Hamptons. The Hamptons. So okay. Let's go there so that we can just appreciate the next clip. Right. He's had six months to have stuff worked oh, on. He's just now so getting to it? Well, that's the story. Here we go. We're doing construction in our house now, and I need to stay in one of our guest rooms. I can't get a guest room here. Everyone, my room is filled with cat. I can't get a guest room here. <laughs> so it's like, I'm, and I'm like, yesterday I'm muttering under my breath, going, everywhere I go, I, I, I have, I have nowhere to go. Mo, Mo, the, his fucking mansion is bigger than North Shore Animal League. Like, stop, yeah, stop. Cursing. Sorry. His 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 mansion is bigger than the North Shore Animal League. I mean, we're how many cats yeah. are in there? How many could there possibly be? And now, honestly, based on the amount of, of shit that she's been throwing up, uh, I I I gotta imagine it's full. Well, let's break it down. How many cats does she? She claims she has thirty cats in a seventeen thousand square foot. But all the I don't know if you can see my mouse or not. But all the cats are here. This is the pool house. All the cats are here. Okay, this, that's where they all. So he has this whole house to figure yeah. out. To stay in while they're finishing the construction. Mo, is that house bigger than a New York City block? I would say. I look at the pool. Not I, I'd quite, say yes. but it's it's a large. It's like a library. So. I it's would seventeen thousand square feet. I would New York City place. library. I would say this is like a a small block. You know, maybe like yeah, um, maybe like one of those in between. Like like the block that his condo is on is probably the length of this house for sure. Because that's one of those weird small blocks um, that's between like Columbus and Amsterdam. So I'm gonna go with that's probably that's probably. I around. mean, I could see a door there. It's like a miniature, you know. This is a big place. It's huge. It's huge. Okay, so um, so Beth comes in, and now uh, I don't know. I we had a whole Beth show, which I loved because it really just the show how ridiculous she is um and let me see i wanted to do a couple of oh quick question they're in a different room aren't they what do you mean because I, I i glanced at their setup today and it looked totally different from they fixed it they were doing work at the house they yeah said. but i mean it doesn't mean dick i mean their own their place was with a curtain from a bowling alley wow Did- now he has wood paneling he has paneling yes, I, mean, I, I noticed that he did sound panels, and I have that. I have that so that we can we can. Ooh, look sound panels. He, he didn't say what work was getting done, right? He does. We're gonna get to it. Um, okay, good. Let's get to Can't Beth. Wait. Let's get to Beth. <laughs> because of course, now how many times has Beth been on air with him? Still can't. Still can't figure out the headphones. Still can't figure it out. You're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get it now. Uh, you can either go there or you can use those headphones. Which want to use that? Yeah. Where do I sit? Uh, you can take that chair. Yeah. We fixed up the studio, so it's so much nicer. Yeah, it looks good. You got to lift that microphone, sweet love. Studio. We're talking about, we're excited about the Italy trip. I can't wait. He can't, he's thinking of all the things he's going to do there. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we get to walk around a lot and see museums. And... <laughs> it's the architecture. Your... Hold the on a second. Streets. What? I can't hear you. Those don't work. The headphones work. Honey, yeah. put them on your head. This is ridiculous. They don't work. Put them on. Where's the 
Where's the volume, Howard? They work, don't they? <laughs> The volume. You want to know what this is? The with volume is way low. Here's, here's the problem with Beth. Is this- so he goes into this whole thing about how Beth will immediately do that. Like she'll put on the headphones and she'll be like, no, they don't work. Without actually looking at it and trying to figure out that there's actually a volume button that she needs to adjust so that she can hear it. She admit, she just immediately like gives hey, up. Hey, Mo, pause for a second. Is this rem- I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that she went through a bitch fist on, a, on like posh pets or something like that because the guy went to micer and she went, totally tore him an asshole saying that uh, she knows all about sound and shit like that and then here we have this nincompoop who can't even put headphones on wait when was this why don't i remember wait, wait, you remember when she did mom caves and posh pets yes okay during one of those there's an anecdote where she comes in and basically accuses the sound guy of trying to get a look at her boobs and she refused to have him mic her up and she took the the lob and mic'd herself and then went on and on about how she knows all about doing all this audio stuff and blah really? blah blah yeah 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 it was just funny like you know she's just being a sea monkey to some dude trying to do his job and here we have what 18 million years later she still can't figure out headphones jesus christ so anyway wolfie was talking about how there's all these like stray cats in italy and that Beth is going to be horrified because of all the, the cats yeah. and, you know, and then she starts talking about these two kittens that she still has in Florida, which is how we realized that they were now in New York. And she has this commentary. You were talking about Florida kittens. Yeah. And I have two there still. Yeah. That um, my friend is watching for me. They are perfect kittens. I raised them. And I. They're perfect because I raised them, obviously. Yeah, that's, I don't that's, want to have to fly yeah, them. To, I don't want to have to fly them to New York. You hear her? So if anybody's looking for two perfect male kittens, right. kittens, I raised them. And I don't want to have to fly them to New York. So if anybody's looking for two perfect male kittens. Are they I'm perfect? You, they what is it Florida. with people in Florida? Not they're... Nobody. Nobody is adopting nobody kittens adopts? in Florida. I think people can go in their backyard and just grab a kitten. That's, That's what the this problem. guy Greg was saying on the air. Yeah. Apparently nobody adopts kittens in Florida because Beth has these two, these two nuggets. They're perf- perfect. They're perfect. Perfect nuggets too. There's two perfect. Well, there's like what? Five month old kittens. And she said she's yeah. raising them. Already? Let us not forget that, uh, that Dennis got rejected from getting a kitten. Yes. Yes. A yes. couple of years ago in Florida. And it was because he had a dog. So she said, no, you cannot have a cat. No cat for you. If you have a dog. Howard's going to need a fleet of, of jets to bring all the cats from Rome back to, you know, New York. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Oh, my God. Yes, absolutely. I still can't get over how fat this cat is. New driver of the ice cream van, Miss P. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. She's had that cat for a while. Why is it still fat? It's well because she overfeeds it because she's compensating for her anorexia, you silly man. Got it. Oh, I'm sorry. It didn't look healthy. What is wrong with you? All right, let me see if well, I can tie in Beth to this whole thing. Uh where is it? Oh, Ralph, it's not until clip 18. Okay, we have to wait a few minutes. Sorry. Uh let's move on. So, of course, Beth, you know, international supermodel, has this to say about see. So now when she's talking about Greece, I feel like, well, here, let me play it because you tell me what you think she was going to say and she stopped herself. Hold on. Telling me when we go to Italy, the streets are littered with cats. No, I mean, there. I, I lived in Greece when I was working yeah. for a while and there was a huge population of feral cats. You didn't live there for a while. I mean, really, there's, there's no proof of you being in Greece. None. None whatsoever. And who models in Greece? Let's be honest. Who? I've never heard of somebody going to model in Greece. Never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Hang on. And it was very sad. But I know in Italy and a lot of other places, they take really good care of them. Maybe we shouldn't go. I don't want you to be subjected to that. As much as I want to go, I don't want to want you to see That's straight cats. Thing, huh? That's the <laughs> thing I'm worried about. You know, I it would kill me not to go. But if you're going to you're going to be I've so been, I've been to Italy dozens of times. I am uh-huh. I know what mm. I'm going to see. It's crazy. Dozens of times, Beth. You've been to Italy dozens of times. Dozens. 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 How many dozens? I, I don't know. I think she's, she thinks she went to the Olive Garden and thinks it's Italy. Well, seriously, 24, 36 times? Like, how long were you modeling? 
What kind of career did you have? That- I was so gullible. She's a grifter. Totally. <laughs> totally. He's so gullible. Dozens of times. And, and I guarantee you, she never once went to a museum, never once went and did anything exciting. And P.S., we are now going on year, what, 25, 26, 27 with Howard? Hasn't done any international travel in all that time. Yep. And we, when Beth went on the first on, went on the air was what, 25 years ago or something or 30 years ago? Yeah, 25 years ago. I mean, we've never heard she went, she lived in Greece. I mean, come no, on. No, we did. We did. I'll tell you when we, we heard this. She had some assignments in Greece and that was the classic story about how the pilot let her sit either like on his lap or next to him or something and fly the plane when they were going off to some island or some shit like that. Sure. You let me fly the plane. That's right. Absolutely. You let me push the buttons and uh, and move the, the dial. Button. And then we went zoom. And we went zooming. Yes, yes. Um, so then this weird conversation comes up. And again, you know, just be prepared that this isn't going to be up tomorrow. So just take advantage of it right now. Yeah. Um, she asked him this question. Or, oh, oh. There's so much stuff going on. Okay. See, I was talking to somebody today about how this show has become so lackluster and it's so boring, but the devil is in the details on this show nowadays, you know? And so it's just whenever there's like some weird kind of little things that you can take note of that we kind of just get a glimpse into what's going on in their lives. Uh, So here, let's go on. We got into a big argument uh, yesterday. About what? You said to me, that I would never have married you. Oh. Listen to this. Beth go, I don't even know where this was coming from. We've I'm telling her how much I love her and you know and, and how much I appreciate her. You know, I'm doing all the things you, that you're supposed to do according to psychiatrists in order to have a good marriage. And I get and I'm, t- and I'm telling her, you know, you're beautiful. I love you and you're such a good person. She goes, let's face it, if I had had kids, you told me you would never have married me. Yeah, right? it's true. You did say that. One early on. I don't remember that. And I said to her, I turned to her in all earnesty and said, if you had kids, I'd still marry you. Bullshit. Bullshit. No way. No way. Yes, Miss Beaverhausen. That's exactly what I'm saying. She met him at 26. How did she travel so much prior to that? Unless she was a yacht girl. Right. Gurgle, so, gurgle, gurgle. Was she, was she stationed in Greece as the goony blonde American model prototype? And yeah. So they would fly her back and forth to Italy because she was so popular in Greece. Again, no proof. Zero, zero mention. Uh, thank you, Chatterbox. When did Howard, what? When did Howard, wow. the, did, did, she, did, did Howard, her, did the one who could not have done it today? I almost think that's Papa Wrinkles. I, when I, yes, didn't Howard is yes. <laughs> when didn't Howard do the don't dig? Even, don't even don't 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 even try. When did Howard do the funny. Dig? We were. I feel that that's Papa Wrinkles. That, that's hi Papa funny. Wrinkles. Yeah, hi Papa Wrinkles. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I think Beth is confusing Greece for lube. Oh Jesus! Okay, so. Listen to this. Here's a little exciting news for all of you, and then like we could we could ponder on it. Here we go. I was thinking about we have a lot of exciting things coming up with your kids. Yes. And we're planning, and um, we're planning how we're going to get there. Who's staying with us? Right. Big excitement ceremonies. Right. Baby. Listen to this. He's the whole. Thing. Yeah. I'm going to be a grandfather for the second time, and Beth, by the way, is going to be a grandma for the second time. <laughs> I am yeah. a grandma. You are a grandma. <laughs> Your hot grandma. <laughs> yeah. So all sorts of plans, all sorts of how we're going to get there, probably to California. I bet you Deborah's having another Uh-oh. baby. And ceremonies. What's this about? What's going I feel, on? I feel, I feel like he got annoyed and needed it. And then to get back at her, he called her a grandma. Absolutely. Like, oh, totally. He's, he seemed pissed off. Yeah. I need in seven seconds to lay her. So there was no choice but to continue the conversation. Because she doesn't see it as being wrong because who cares? But he does. I love that. I love deliciousness like that. I really do. <laughs> um, okay. So then the, we go back to Italy and here she is talking about how she has to pack for him like he's a toddler. Here we go. I think, <laughs> Mark, I hope they don't listen to this, right but I feel they're going to be pleasantly surprised. Really? Yeah. I, By what? Can we just, can we make a deal? <laughs> every, because you are making this such a doom and gloom 
<laughs> well, let me ask you something. And you're you and fun. I, but, but you're can fun I say something? Some, if we're in, the, if, you, yeah. if you're well rested, which I have, I'm going to have that covered. Right. If you're fed, right. you're like a toddler. If you have your snacks, I'm going to have a bag of cashews. If you get lightheaded, right. we're going to have water. And hopefully there will be bathrooms very nearby everywhere we go. I can you even? She, she guys talking don't about like, a 70 year old man, dude. Yeah, guys don't like when you, you women say that you're a baby. Like, oh man, he he's probably not him. Me. He loves it, dude. Oh, okay, he loves being a defenseless broad. Yeah, I mean, exactly. just think of the wedding. Remember how he just totally like sandbagged everybody by like not like dressing like a slob and they had to dress them, and he was so proud of it. Right, he had to go back into the van and get changed. Yeah. Because I'm making a joke. Do you think he's ever picked up a hammer or a screwdriver? No. Oh, no. No. No, definitely not. Those hands are like, are yeah, like yeah. butter. It's right. They're like velvety veal butter. Baby. <laughs> baby <laughs> finger hands. Yeah. Baby ass. Like baby ass those hands are. Absolutely. Yeah, never yeah. done a single thing. Um, so he goes back to the whole, they never go to museums thank you aloha is the pay gap between wiggy and his staff worse than mcdonald's ceo and the fry cook uh i would say yes i would and you know the funny thing about it is that when they were talking to wolfie you know beth immediately was like well wolfie's definitely not staying at the same hotels that we're staying at you know I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're not staying at the same places. Like we have many friends who we've spoken to who, where I mentioned the places we're going to be staying um, all are like, Oh, those are the best ones. You pick the best ones. Don't know if I have that clip. I'm just rem reciting this from memory. So excuse me if it's not well, correct. Wolfie's probably sleeping on the street. Come on. <laughs> Wolfie was on a cruise where everybody uh, on every you know everybody on board was like five just stowaway. away you he's know? hiding in the in the luggage area exactly you know the pasta on board the cruise came from like florida and not from like rome for them to like eat on the cruise you know it you just know it um all right so they never go to museums and then beth of course has the retort for that but you and i love being home and now we're going to go to museums. We've never, the two of us have never gone to a museum in New York. They have the best museums. I've been to every museum in New York. And you get so bored. You leave after 20 You've minutes. You've never been to a museum with me. So I, I can't name more than like three museums in New York. I bet you. Right? But it just goes to show you she just does stuff without uh, still stuff without him for sure. What chance does she have? What and and she again going back to Mrs. Beaverhouse and saying that she met him when he was she was 26 years old. What are the odds that Beth was going to museums when she was like 23, 24, 25? Zero. Slim and none. Maybe the children's museum. Slim and none. How would you know? I think I went you to You just a said we've never been to a museum no, but we, I mean, we never go to museums. Maybe we went once. Maybe it was a museum that mind. was not. Yeah. I don't I'm know saying, what you're saying. She's not, she doesn't like museums. I she do. Gets, how do you know? I, I'm married to you 25 years. Yeah, we don't go to museums together. Yeah, what are you talking about? We're getting along great lately. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. For for months, Howard says he loves art and art history. I mean, he know he, it's it's but such a fake art. He thinks he's like a Renaissance man because of his next Leonardo da Vinci passion yeah. for for all things beautiful and artistic. He doesn't give a shit. He's he only took up art because other people that were kind of cooler and better than him were doing it, and he wanted to he wanted to be their buddy. He, that's it. He just wanted to get along with people who had were more aesthetically pleasing than himself. Period. Or, or he's trying to be cultured or pretend like he's smart or intelligent or yeah. Absolutely, of, man. That's it's a fake. Yeah, he's a, oh, he, he just wants to perpetrate everything. He, everything he tries, he wants. He, he needs to be the Renaissance expert. He's a forger. Or he's a forgery. He is. <laughs> he is without without fail. Um, let's talk about some home renovations because this was an important part of the conversation. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, this trip do is doing a lot for the marriage and <laughs> renovations. How do people live through house renovations? Uh, yeah, we were bad. away. I love the way she comes up with cut topics and renovations. How do people live through home renovations? I'm sorry. I, I just have to go back for a second. I'm sorry. So here's where you live. Here's where you live. Pretty much any corner, any quadrant of that house would be somewhere where you could um, potentially escape to. 
and not be seen. Are they changing every floor in the house? That's the only thing I, or every window. Like that's the only thing I could see that would be an inconvenience. So. Please listen. And was supposed to be all done. And of course it's not. I never have any luck with I'm By the way, no more renovations. We're done. I'm never doing this another is your renovation. renovation, Howard. There's this is Howard's renovation, renovation his uh, office. I just it's fixed. Not. No, my, it's not even my office. I fixed the closet in my bathroom and it's taking months. Yeah. Okay. I fixed the closet in my bathroom and it's taking months. And and that that's why they can't live there because it's, it's a four foot by four foot closet or something. And Beth says, no, it's his office. And he's like, no, it's not. It's the bathroom. It's like, how do you not have that story together when there's renovations getting done in your house? Lies, 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 lies. Yeah, sorry. Oh my God. It's like just it's so annoying to me that they could be this way. It really is. It's kind of pathetic. It really is. It's kind of pathetic. They they think it's cute. They think it's like an 80s rom com, you know? <laughs> Except, well, they, you know like, they, or like or even like I love Lucy. It's like, you know, love- it's like Fred and Ricky built the barbecue in the backyard and and then Lucy lost her ring and have to go back and find it. This is the way they it, talk. And this is all they watch, too, is rom-coms. That's exactly who they are. They, they, they they they, they, that's what they think they are. Go, uh, Judy. They, 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 they can't live there because his linen closet's getting painted. I mean, come on. Exactly. Well, There's to, no be fair, to be fair, he does have a big closet. <laughs> There's no room. There's no room. No, you know, he has a big closet. There's no room. You know, you um, okay. Does that really question. go over your head? Workers have to lock up their phones. Never mind. What, babe? Never mind. Ah. I was, making, I was make, making a homo joke. Sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. That's that's yeah. good. Uh, I'm glad I interrupted you. Um, <laughs> okay. And then here, classic, classic Beth shenanigans. And she says to me, Oh, I'm going to a male gynecologist. Oh. Like, kind of, you know, and I go, <laughs> What? She goes, yeah, my friend recommended this this guy to me, and he's supposed to be really nice and everything. And I go, what? He's going to see you, and he's going to get a boner. He's going he's gonna to want to fuck you. This is how he thinks. He thinks that his 51-year-old wife is um, the only person the gynecologist has ever seen. Absolutely. And that... Every gynecologist should be female because those are the only gynecologists that are available in the country and that they all want her because she's and, 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 Beth would be a, and Beth would be a willing participant. He also is thinking. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> she goes on to say, exactly. It goes back to the Benji interview from last week. I've cheated on everybody I've ever been with. And yes. So therefore you cannot be trusted. You cannot be trusted. Um, she of course goes on to say that she was only kidding with him. And the, of course she's going to a female gynecologist and, you know, and apparently they found like a polyp on one of her ovaries. So now they had to, you know, yeah. do. Uh, they sure it wasn't some dude's car keys. A biopsy and all that. And, um, and then he comes out with this, which was also on Reddit today. And uh, Xavier had forwarded it to me, but I already had it. Yes. And, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. And it was, it was quite shocking. Yeah, that there's that's, that's the title so that you can see what it says there. So he just it's just in passing he says this biopsy and it was so painful and I'm just crying and you're exposed. It's just a horrible ex- experience. And you know you're so demure. Like I don't even really demure. see your vagina. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know you. <laughs> I don't even really see her vagina. Yeah. You and know, there you- you're gaping, Howard. You know. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <in> those- <laughs> stirrups and then when they say that slide down to the edge oh, thing, it's the worst it's horrible i want you know all women have this problem all women go through this this is what happens yes yes the gynecologist is horrible yes but i again i don't need to hear from from you beth stern about how horrible the gynecologist is we're all in the same boat Every single woman out here, every single woman on the chat, every single person. Howard says she's the hottest girl ever, but he won't see her naked. Okay. He's never seen her, her vagina. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here. So whoever said this, Howard said he's never really seen Beth's P word. Today, Howard said something like, I've never really seen it. You keep it under wraps. This was when she was talking about her gynecologist appointment. 
What the F? 25 years of marriage and he hasn't seen her pussy. What a couple of weirdos. Truly a bizarre relationship. Maybe he should be talking to a psychiatrist about his wacko marriage instead of his parents. Never mind that he spent an hour talking to his oddball wife when we just had the former president convicted of 34 felonies. Way to captain the ship, Howard. And, it's just, and people were just going on and on about it. And Mo, again, he a few years ago, he claimed he's never seen her butthole either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. She What's actually going on? she yeah. actually will put her underwear back on or take like a blanket and put it around herself to walk out of the room after they've had sex so that he doesn't see her uh behind. I mean it's, it's insanity. It's just it's a little you know what? And remember he used to brag that he never wore condoms with Allison ever? And oh. then like he's got like a freaking you know Fort Knox for freaking his prophylactics, you know? Yeah, no kidding. It's 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 actually quite shocking. It's a weird dynamic. Yeah, by anybody's like, standard. It is weird. I, I I have no commentary about it. I'm just trying to let me just look at what I've got going on for going forward here. Did Balloon you, nut. That's yeah. Right, Autobot. Couple of things I want to go back and forth to. Um, Uncle Larry posted this yesterday, and everybody was all over this shit. So Beth deleted this. Uh, uh oh. But she wrote, anyone in New York area who has an extra room nowhere near resident pets who could foster a mama kitty and her five really young babies? Mama has no signs of it, but three of the babies have suspicious ringworm spots. I just can't have them enter my home with so many kittens in adjacent rooms. Ringworm is a harmless fungus-like athlete's foot. It's just contagious to other animals in the house. I've handled many ringworm kittens and kissed them and have never gotten it. I really want to save this little family. I need you. I <laughs> Somebody wrote y'all about to get ringworm. Yeah. <laughs> now, does anybody, anybody want to explain to Beth how incredibly contagious ringworm is, number one? Number two, why is it that these cats aren't being transported over to Beth's kitten warehouse at North shore animal league. Isn't that the whole point of this place to take in? The uh, well, you know, she what? has a whole wing there. Literally. She spent or the whole place. Took, yeah. Billy yeah. Joe donated. How many millions to that place? Mr. Ray donated. How many millions? Don't want to the Billy Joe's poster to get ringworm. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the no, book? Actually I can't. Posters? Here, can you take in five, six cats? Can somebody in the New York area with an extra room take in six cats so, with a ringworm? So, Mo, if we say yes, we can go into their mansion and go pick them up? Is that and Not at the mansion. She, she says she can't oh. keep them there because okay. she has to. She I can't have them she enter my room. home. She can throw them in one room. I can't have them enter my home with so many kittens in adjacent rooms. But sure. If you have an extra room for well, that's six the, cats. That's different. That's the pores. That's the pores, exactly. The pores, you, know, here's, they, you get they, ring they can handle it. And Beth, by the way. Like, go ahead. Uh, no, Beth, I have five whack packers living on the street. Can you help them out? Can they stay at your place? I'll do a trade-off. And, and Howard, being such a hypochondriac germaphobe, I'm sorry, your wife kisses ringworm kittens? and oh, worm Yum, people? yum. I mean, really, it's so contagious, you guys. It tastes like Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dope is she, man? Seriously. The Take them to the vet. The vet will shave it. Put some of that cream on it. A couple of days, it's done. What right. kind of a dope is she, man? She's an animal expert. She, that is Sin Lou, you're saying, why can't Beth keep them at a veterinary hospital? She yeah. has a wing at North Shore. Literally. Take them the there. The whole place was hard. Remember yeah. when, every time we've gone to like a, a video of that place, there's always like two cats in the Billy Joe piano room. Exactly. It. It's like they have like a 4,000 square foot room with two cats in it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Exactly. Well, and exactly. How many millions did that, how many millions did, did it cost to build that place? Millions, I mean, bro. What millions. is going on? Millions. It's just but, weird, man. But she deleted this. So of course she must have gotten like Oops. a bunch of shit. See, this Good. is the whole thing, you guys. Whenever you post something on Radio Gunk in the forum section and it's something from her stupid gram, you have to screen cap it like this because you never know 
when the dullard will remove something and it'll be gone forever. And yeah, we'll we've missed a couple of jewels, man. Oh, that's the best, yeah. the best thing yeah. we do. Um, Chris Wilding, of course, has this little bon mot to say. Oh, dude, yeah. I was getting recognized in Italy. They're going to be all over you. They are going to recognize you very well. Yeah, that was the American tourists. So Chris Wilding has the balls to say to us that he gets recognized in Italy. He got recognized in Italy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where these people were. Uh, maybe maybe uh, Italians are up have, on uh, gay pornos. Does, yeah, does he have a fans only or something? Like, what, <laughs> what would be the reason? Hey, look, it's not from Hobbit's Burn. The bottle up his bunk hole. Can, can, you even get, can you even get serious in, in Europe? I, I don't even know. Probably not. So, no. No. How are they going to see like this full of crap, man? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I, hey, I, look, it's the man who blew Rocco. <laughs> At some point uh, during the Beth conversations, just FYI, they start to tell us that they're watching a show called Hacks and that Beth has like a little bit of a girl crush on this chick whose mother actually was Lorraine Newman from Saturday Night Live. And she happens to oh, be really? uh, she happens to be a lesbian and you know, okay. talking about how she has a little crush on her and thinks that she's real she active and you know, all that stuff. And Howard's like, do I have to like get to know her and have her on the show and maybe you'll do something with her? She's like, Oh my God, no, Howard. I'm just saying I find her attractive. Uh, I didn't record that because you know, I don't know do why you think she would show Beth her private parts. <laughs> um, so the next clip I have, um, did it feel like a commercial that, that uh, TV show? Was it a hidden commercial? Uh, it, well, Hex is in its yeah. third season. I'm not really sure. And they've never mentioned it before, but definitely uh, there's something on Paramount plus that they're watching. Apparently uh, mayor of Kingstown or something, which was definitely a hidden commercial. And then they actually did a commercial about it later on. Um, so I was going to play a clip for you, but instead I'm going to do the one from her uh, stupid gram because it's so much better to actually see it in person. Oh, but do I have sound on here? Oh, I should. So Beth and I take a walk every day and it was, you know, we were thinking a lot about Ralph. It's been really. All right. This is the ridiculousness that is their life. Okay. Oh my God. Did we show them saving a worm the other day? Yes, we did. We did. Okay. Oh, Wednesday show. Okay. So they're talking about Ralph and, and yeah. Really difficult to think of him as being dead. Like, and I think I made the comment, Ralph would be so mad that he's not here. That Why would. Ralph be mad that he's not here. I, I don't even understand the commentary. Oh, by the way, check out the new studio. So now when he has his friends, this is the reason he did it. When he has his friends come over and he decides to do like an ad hoc uh, show, at least it'll look pretty now as opposed to like the shithole that it was. When <laughs> well, he down. had that for like four years. Huh? And he, they threw up a couple Ikea panels and call it a remodel. Now it's a remodel. He's gone. Not being dead. I think that's, I was getting like so passionate about like, and then I put, I put my hands up. I'm like, Ralph, if you can hear me, if there's anything oh, after Jesus. this life, give us a sign. Uh, are we even following? Are we following this now? We're following. This uh, the here? hands are kind of making me dizzy, but yes. She, yeah. she probably sees a psychic. If she, if she believes this stuff. Absolutely. Hey, you know, she's, she's the wonderful Beth. Right now. That split second, we're walking. A red cardinal walks out from under the bush, <gasps> stops, looks at us, turned right around and went back under the bush. Now, it, it sounds it sounds like a foul moment, which it is, but it was really weird because there's no fucking red cardinal. We've never We've once never seen, seen a, a red, red cardinal. cardinal. We were walking down the street and this bird literally pokes his head out and then goes right back under and, and like you don't even see him fly away it was very very odd and i go oh i gotta tell this to sal no but it was unbelievable because if i had told you that story and you weren't with me yeah it was you'd been like coincidence haha ha, oh honey that's cute but the fact that you were there yeah. look at that head shape she she her head her skin looks green bad lighting or maybe that's just her but look at that she head. looks like a a vertical version of stewie <laughs> Exactly. It's like a little bit of a football. Her, her hair, like she wants to be in the bangles or something. Yeah, as, as Hooper points out that Cardinals are all over Long Island. They're abundant in New York and in Florida. Oh my God. I used to see them all the time. Cardinals are signs of loved ones that have passed. 
you can choose to believe it or not, but you asked for a sign and you got what sure, is universally sure, sure. accepted. You got what is universally accepted as the most common sign. Universally. Yeah. Sir, you don't believe anything. I still don't, but okay. But and it was the weird. The fact that that happened, we were we walked in silence for a good five minutes afterwards because we were both processing. It, it was very odd when it happened. So Beth and I take a walk. In what world would anybody be saying, like, what is it that Ralph's missing? Like, what is it that, that would make her so like, ah, Ralph, you're missing. What uh, you would hate, you would hate this. You would hate not being here. You know what it is? Where's I'll tell you exactly from? what it is. It's like when someone goes uh, and buys like a $2 lottery at the St. Levin yeah. and then they get a misprint, but they have to, they think it's a sign. So they have to get that one too. And she's just, <laughs> all she's doing is just, She's just like, she thinks that she's connected to the hereafter and everything else. Yeah. You know, she thinks she's basically Snow White. I so, never. of course, mm -hmm. she's going to think of, you know, seeing a bird that's about to die under a bush is a sign. She is an angel and a saint. That's Yeah, exactly. not. She's, yeah. She's okay. dumb for all this. This is, this is what, we, yeah, Beth does have a big head. Does she not? She totally does, dude. And not only that, but I mean, honey, she needs to take it easy on that Botox, bro. It's been really she's, difficult to think of him as yeah, I'm gonna shut that off just so we can yeah she's very shiny very she has a very thick neck too when she's not straining for us okay all right okay and then she did that angry rah, 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 like she gets yeah. really angry let's get there Let's get there. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. You know what it is? It's if you ever done like any sort of like drawing in in high school, look her, her eyes are too close to each other. Oh, she has close set eyes, and they're yeah. Because in, in when you're drawing, like you don't draw, it's like you're supposed to have a gap between your eyes that's equivalent of one eye. If you look at her, it's they're way too close to each other. But the whole Ostrowski family have those bizarre. It's like a some kind of weird chromosome anomaly. Exactly. Yeah, she she puts her hands. Like this, and I'm like, Ralph, if you can hear yeah, me, besides, thank you, Mike. <laughs> why would she even say this? Like, what's the point? And why is she posting uh, on her Instagram? Wait, isn't are we coming across the anniversary of him dying? No, that was in fall, right? No, but his that was like in October or day, I think. I think his birthday was at some point. No, uh, he's, I think Ralph is an April guy, isn't he? No, oh, could, could be. I, I, I could be wrong, I could be totally wrong. So then she went on a whole conversation about how people are such perverts because they were thinking Ready. that. Now you show everyone how you panties. play with the toy. Look, you can't see anything right now. Never yeah. think Coco Melon. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. I had to come back to this because it's so ridiculous that it, it was worthy of your was worthy of your attention. Again. All right, honey, get ready. Now you show everyone how you play with the toy. Look at you. I'm honey. better than Coco Melon. Oh my God, honey. You're going to catch the toy. That's Coco it. Melon, look, I'm better than you. Honey, you're a good hunter. That was so much fun last week. That was. I was. remember like when that came out, I couldn't call, call Mo fast enough. I go, you got to go here right now. You've got to oh go. It, <laughs> And you know, I had <laughs> and and Mo, it was like silence from Mo, like <laughs> I thought she had an aneurysm or something. And, and, <laughs> and when we played it, when we played it, everybody on the on the <laughs> comment section was like, Oh my god, wow, wow. Like there's nothing to say, honestly. There's really nothing to say. Um okay, so then she talks about how she goes out to lunch a lot with her friends. And so let's talk about that for a quick second. Yeah, Beth goes to lunch with women a lot. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I enjoy it. You don't I'm go happy to for lunch you. with guys, yeah. No, I, I, I say to myself, why? Why does she need to go to lunch with people? I'm enough. <laughs> why does she need to go to lunch with people? I'm enough. I never go to lunch with anybody. I really enjoy it. Yeah. What do you talk about? You. <laughs> we all complain about our husbands. Do you? That's true. Yeah, no. I'm sure it is. Honestly, we don't even talk about you guys. What are you talking the about? The other husband, Sean, of my right. friend Beth, is like, oh, what are you girls talking about? And I know that 
he thinks that, that we're talking about you guys and right. we don't talk about you guys at all. <laughs> at yeah, I don't all. think about it. Well, I, when Beth goes to lunches, it gives me extra nap time. So, so of course, uh, thank you to bring back Jackie on the, the Twitter machine. Uh, he did a little digging to see who this Sean is and Beth were and comes up with this. Sean is the leader of Ainsworth Pet Nutrition from 2008 to 2018, having spent his career there since 94. Uh, executive chairman, 2018. Sean recruited, developed, and led a team that grew Ainsworth from a $200 million regional family business to a $2 billion disruptive industry leader in premium pet food and snacks with the Rachel Ray Nutrish brand. Look how everything just comes full circle. Everything just comes full circle with these people. Sean is currently the CEO of Ainsworth Investments. Sean's family is passionate about animal rescue and has been involved with large expansion projects for the Big Dog Ranch Rescue and North Shore Animal League. Sean serves on the board of directors for Cleveland Clinic, Florida. Sean and Beth's families created an endowed research program at Cleveland Clinic. Blah, 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 blah. So that is Sean and Beth Lang. And that would be them. So, oh, look at this pretty. Oh, look at all these. Look, see, this is Palm Beach. This, this is Palm Beach, my friends. Oh, oh, so I'm doing all this stuff and reading to you and you don't even see it. Thank you for sharing. No. Oh, so here, this is Sean and Beth Lang. Um, so then we go to the Palm Beach Daily News. And this is what people in Palm Beach look like. This is Palm Beach. You know that man smells like, you know. You know he's younger than, than a Stern probably. Depends. Tooth decay for sure. Depends on tooth decay. This guy, <laughs> this guy dyes his hair. He's also. Oh, no, get out of here. 75 or 80. Um yeah. That's a big age gap. That's Simone and Kerry Vicker. You should know them by now. Oh, look at this one. Oh, way too much sun. Beth Pine and Andy Fox. Look at you, you handsome couple. Uh, Lynn and Seymour, of course. The, by the way, this is what the couple absolutely 1,000% look like that they bought their house off of in Palm Beach, for sure. For they look sure. like the couple, that, like their last name's Winkle Boss or something like that. Yeah, Rebecca and Randy, and uh, oh, the youngins, the youngins in Palm Beach, Andy and Marie. New, new, new. She looks like a party. Oh, look at these two fun people, Gina and Jeff Sabian. Interesting, no relation, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, this is this is oh, there, look, there's Palm Beach. This is all Palm Beach to you, Dean and Mary. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, look at that stud. Gene and then, okay, there, they are. there they are, Beth and Sean Lang. There they are. So that's oh Beth, god, Beth really? right down in Palm Beach and her husband who runs Nutrish. So as it would be. Sure he does. As well, it he, would be. He can live in Palm Beach from Nutrish. I've never heard of that company. Nutrish. Well, which is it, that's Rachel Way's way of saying oh, really? oh, okay. Yeah. Don't you remember she donated? Like almost a million dollars to North Shore Animal. Well, I knew that, but I didn't Bob know the But meanwhile, they're best friends with the people that actually own and run Nutrish and are involved with North Shore Animal League. So it's a very complicated little web we weave here, my friends. Very impetuous. When it comes to charity work and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. You give me a million, I give you a million. You both write it off. Exactly. That's exactly what. Exactly what it is. All right, let's move on. Just a snurch here. Uh, oh, she she gave him a little dig right here. Hang on. It's mind over matter. You have to stop with that. Really? Yeah, Nonsense. it's getting a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's getting. Mm. It, it's like now I'm feeling like I never felt I was with an older person. Yeah. Oh. You about all that. True, I think it's in your head. But I had to stop. Fired. Well, that, those things are different. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying in general, you're like, oh, I can't walk anymore. I can't well, walk I'm on the walk. treadmill. I'm gonna... Like you can walk on a treadmill if you can walk outside. Oh, my ankle hurt when I went on the treadmill. <sighs> my ankle hurt. My ankle hurt. Um, Dude, he's not gonna forget that ever. There will be 
payback for that comment. Repercussions. A hundred percent. I never really felt like I was with an old person. An old person. That that that's like that wounded him. I guarantee it. That was that was a that was a shot right over the bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So last week, if you remember, we um, we played this psychotic clip uh, of Saturday Beth night. picking out the nuts. So I'm sure you will remember this because I played it like three times. So let's let's play a couple of letters that we get. How about that? Letters. Anorexia causes major cognitive decline. The trail mix thing really shows how seriously her logic and problem solving ability has eroded. Elderly people, either advanced dementia would perform similarly. She's honestly doesn't realize she's separating the nuts. Then, but everything mixes back together. And then she separates the same things over and over. Chronic nutrition defi deficiency will literally cause a form of rot in the brain tissue. I like that, my friends. She's making her trail mix. She, she doesn't eat peanuts. I don't so like peanuts. Picking out the M&Ms and the raisins. And the cashews. The cashews. Cashews. Here's a cashew one. Huh? I'll take Now, what, what's your plan with all this? Well, I have to take and weed out. Now, I'm crazy. <laughs> it's just like four or five times, and I can't get enough of this clip, as you know. Cashews? But why would you take the... Why would you take the stuff that you've already put into the basket, but uh, into the bin, but put it onto the same paper towel where all the rest of the stuff is? I, I can't believe it. Like there's there's no rhyme or reason for picking for it tomorrow. out. Look, there, there's tomorrow's the blue M&M. Like tomorrow's allotment. That's what I'm watching. It's driving me crazy. Now watch. Are you going to eat these? Look, oh, look, there's, a, there's a reason. I and like that. that she pulls it back out and then discovers the same raisins that she took out to begin with. I mean, it's, it's insanity. It's insanity. My friends, Gary, the conqueror could do this better. Come on. Absolutely. Beth and a viable, completely insane. There are no words to describe this type of behavior. She can order peanut free trail mix. She is mentally stifled and quite ill. Yes. We agree. We agree. Can Beth the slow adult come to my property and save the deer that shit and drop ticks everywhere and wandered into the middle of the road? No, you just all. No, she cannot. Um, oh, huge. I really have to hand it to Benji. He did a better interview than Stern has done in decades, and he did it to his boss's wife, no less. How he beautifully shifted an innocent throwaway book promo disguised as an interview into a deep peek behind the curtain of Howard's life was just amazing. Agreed. 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 And I found something that I've been looking for for the longest time. Let me see how many clips I have left. Oh, let's hear. Let's hear who's coming in. Hold on. Let's go back to this. You, I just want to say, you know, at first I thought that whole thing with the cashews was fake. I, now I'm like, it's real. Of course it's real. It's like this. It's like the test they give people who huff paint for like 10 years. To see where they are <laughs> cognitively. She's she really must be in cognitive decline. I, I believe him to be true. Whoever wrote that to us. I believe that to be true. Um, okay, Jelly Roll's coming in. Let's bear this. <laughs> um, next Wednesday, Jelly Roll will be here. I'm excited. She oh. Perform. Yeah, Jelly Roll. Got a lot of hit songs. Dude, dude got out of prison, and I don't know. He just he made a vow that I mean, he was going to be a success. and He did it. Pretty impressive He's so story. funny now, because sometimes he looks at his tattoos and goes, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> you think he does that, Rum? Do you think so? Robin I thinks that. That's how it matters. Um, okay, so uh, let me see what this one was. Hold on a second. Let me just go to, I don't know what I was trying to play here. I took a clip kind of last minute. Let me see what it was. Is Jelly Roll big? Is he really? Like, yeah, I, he heard him. I said to Robin <laughs> 30 years ago, I had an epiphany. I said, Michael Jackson calls himself the king of pop. The Rolling Stone calls themselves the greatest rock and roll band. Nobody named them that. They named themselves that. Right. World's greatest rock and roll band. I said, what if I... I'm sorry, you guys. Don't kill me. I got um, the girl from Channel 12 on the line. Well, she won't come on the air with us. I can't. Oh, she will not. Uh, no, I can't, well, then she can't, can't be, get to uh, then I'm not giving her an exclusive. No worries. Sorry, no. guys. Did I miss you up? Um... I was going to play this clip, but I decided not to play this clip and play the longer clip instead. So let me play this and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Hang on. Let me get my sound together. I'm so sorry about that. I just couldn't see it. And it happened. Uh, 
Yeah, I know. Um, so he was celebrating the anniversary of him declaring himself the king of all media. And so as I was listening to this clip, I decided I had to write a little note to somebody. So let me uh, play it for you and then let's come back to it. So hang on. Let me just see if I can figure this out. Just give me a second here. Um, yeah, no, it's stuck. I said to Robin <laughs> 30 okay years there? ago, I had an epiphany. Yeah, sounds fine. I said, Michael Jackson calls himself the king of pop. The Rolling Stone calls themselves the greatest rock and roll band. Nobody named them that. They named themselves that. Right. World's greatest rock and roll. What if I said I was king of media? I got um the girl from Channel 12 this on the line. She won't come on the air with us. Oh, she will not? No. She well, said, then she can't uh, be. Uh, then she, I'm not giving her an exclusive. She said that they were mesmerized by the interview, and they wanted to know if they could use a soundbite of it. A soundbite? How dare they? And I said, Okay, I'm having problems with this clip. I'm sorry. Bye, it's Robin. Oh, skip it. Who cares? Credit, okay. If you know how they come across, you must credit <laughs> the Howard Stern radio show to use this cut. Gary, the credit should read Howard Stern, king of the media. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, I from now on want to be, you know, Michael Jackson does King that. of the, Howard Stern, king of the media. Yeah. So basically what he's trying to say is that he came out with it and it was something that he discovered, that he did it. And yes, you are right. Who just wrote, I thought it was Jackie that did that. Rick, the electrician. I thought that Jackie was responsible for the king of all media handles. So of course I wrote to our friend, uh, Jackalese today. And I said to him, uh, hey, I was listening to the Stern Show this morning. Apparently, it's the anniversary of him naming himself King of All Media. But based on your laugh, because you know the way Jackie always did the chuckle <laughs> um, in the background, I feel like you came up with that. Did you? Um, he said, I think Howard's book had just been published. The note I passed actually read King of Media. He then added it all. He's been quoted getting it backwards, claiming he anointed himself King of All Media and that it was me who added the all. But no, it's the other way around. Um, he said, what was the date on that? I can look for the actual note um, if I didn't already pull it out of a stack at some time. Um, so, yeah, he said he would find the note for us if I could find the exact date on that. Yay. And, of course, I couldn't. Um, yeah, so Jackie was, in fact, the one who did King of All Media. And, of course. You're right, Frank. Jackie was responsible for 99.9% .9 of Howard's success. Yeah. Yeah, at the time, absolutely. And, you know, well, Jackie keeps everything. So he has, he has that stuff. He has all that stuff. Um, and I'm really apologizing for not being able to play that clip. I don't know why I'm going to do yeah, it. So, it happens. Don't worry about it. Um, but here's sort of the end of the show. So let's get to that. You know, there's a bunch more to talk to, but I got to go. I got to go uh, into the recording studio. I'm recording a song uh, with my band oh, called that's right. Please Don't Send Me to Italy. Which, uh, <laughs> I think I'll work Your on new song. my new song. Got to lay it down. Yeah, I had a bunch of other things to talk to talk to you about. Also, the fan mail from two weeks ago, which was sort we of interesting. Har but we hardly talked to anybody today either. Yeah, I know. Well, we're busy yapping. You know what we'll do tomorrow is another day, Robin, and we'll we'll start out and then we'll get to phone phone calls and we'll get to uh, I don't know. We'll get to we got to get to a lot of stuff. And as I told you, uh, Tiffany Haddish will be with me on Wednesday. Yes. On. Next Wednesday, Jelly Roll will be performing. I'm looking forward to that. And also coming soon, the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain. Can that be right? Yes, well, it yeah. is. 40th anniversary of Purple Rain. Yeah, 1984. Well, what does he care about that? Oh. Seriously, what, what does he care? So we're going to do a little something on that. We're also going to go embedded with Flavor Flav. Because we were talking the other day, what's Flavor up to? We're going to find out. Yeah. Uh, Marianne from Brooklyn's 25th anniversary with the show. We're going to have a little special. Yeah. I'm here. Hey, your special is going to be coming on. Marianne from Brooklyn. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to that. Um, and it's also been like, what, 15 years since the show's been funny? Well, 25 years is, I feel like Marianne's been on there for like 40 years. Seriously. Uh, like, I think, can imagine. Well, she's been at least since Private Parts, right? Private Parts was a minute ago. He's saying 25 years. When was Private Parts? Why don't I know? 97? 
So what's well, how many years ago is that? Well, obviously it's more than 24. So 97, 8, 9, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27 years. So no, she wasn't a big part of the... It, in uh, regards to Flavor Flav, yeah. do you think Mr. Music has ever heard one song by Public, Public Enemy? No. I think he knows one song, actually. Like the power? I, I think it's that. I, I think that that's what he knows. Let's mm-hmm. look at Public Enemy and, and see... And- and the only thing, the only interaction Howard had with Prince was he was at some party and Prince had the lights off and he, and Howard was so angry because Prince had the lights off and was playing a guitar. Like, is, right. are they going to bring that shit up again? And, and we have to know, we have to know that he wants to shoot himself in the foot for never having Prince on. And I'm sure he tried to get Prince in and you know, Prince never gave interviews. So there was no way that that was ever going to happen anyway. But yeah, that's probably one of those, you know. So, yeah. What, what is this, you know? What is it called? Thing they're gonna do on on the show? What what event? They they're gonna they're gonna play the the version from his birthday. That's what they're gonna do. Oh, um, by Adam Levine. Yeah, exactly. So I've been looking for this clip for the longest time, and I couldn't find it, and I don't know why. And we had a we had a guy who used to be on our show and also on our forum named Benjamin, who was brilliant with this stuff. You know, I played his um, Beth and Yoda thing last week, which was phenomenal. But he spent a countless amount of time putting together this GIF, um, and it was called Howard Stern's Love Set. And it's basically everybody who had ever come into the show, and he would have Jason stand up on a ladder and take a picture of uh, him with that person, and they would throw it up on Twitter. And um, and so here it is for all of you to behold the the beauty that is the love set. Here we go. Like same face every time. The hair never changes. Same never angle. Changes, same angle, same hair, same everything. And he used to add to this constantly. I don't even know how many are on here, but it's pretty much the same picture every single time. It's pretty freaking brilliant. Isn't that crazy? Like half of those people have been canceled. I'm just looking at the people who are with him. I know. I'm trying to note yeah, people have been me too. I see Nicole Bass. I see Anderson Cooper. And James Colburn. <laughs> Captain Bacard. Right. Um, God, it's so hot. It's uh, yeah, that is young Luke. Was that yeah. Corey Feldman? No, right? Uh, I don't know. Who was the guy with the wafers? John Stamos, I just saw Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Geraldo Rivera. Weird uh, Al. Um the Alec Baldwin. Crosby, David Crosby, um, Ben Stiller, this dude, Kurt Cobain, Killer, Jake Gyllenhaal. Was that uh, Ellen DeGeneres for a second? I think I saw there. Look at Fat Kimmel. You see Fat Kimmel? That's Sam Jackson. Movie. And I can't pause this, so there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Steven Tyler, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, it's fast. Mila <laughs> Kunis been canceled. Oh my God. So crazy. So yeah, I, I really appreciate this and I love it. So uh, thank you somewhere in the ether, Benjamin, for doing that for us. Uh, is there anything else I want to get? Beth Stern. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I think that's what we got for tonight. So do we know anything about Tiffany Haddish that we want to talk about really quickly before we hang up on the show? Did you look her up? I did not even, I didn't even look her up. Should we? Should we? Of course we should. You know what? I predict that tomorrow there's going to be a lathering of Howard's butthole from his staff telling him how young and hip he is for someone like him. For gonna be some, there'll be there'll be some, some what? fallout for that. You know, I didn't think you were old until. Oh, you know, because of what Beth said? I guarantee you they they have to lather him up tomorrow. So this isn't Tiffany Haddish. I don't know her. I got to be honest with you. There's some stuff on her wiki I don't want to say out loud at the bottom. Uh... Okay. Under legal issues. Oh, she has legal issues. She has a couple. Some are so pretty. Forty-four years old. Um, pretty disgusting. So is she she's a comedian. Is she stand up? Yeah, she's stand up. Okay, so let's look. So she was born in South Central. Um, her father was a Eritrean Jew. Interesting. I wonder if they'll bring that up with um, with uh, Robin, knowing that she. Uh, did that charity for Eritrea. Hey, Mo. I was saying it wrong. Yeah. 
before we wrap this up, can we um, do a brief uh, con convo on Robin going to his house over the two weeks? I got a feeling things are going not so well for Miss Quivers, health-wise. And I don't mean that like in a dick way, but it just seems uh, after well, a few years of never see, of not seeing each other, now they see each other regularly. It seems kind of... Well, here's the question I have, is I'm just curious when they came back to New York because I don't oh, know... Yeah, definitely New York. Florida okay. or if it was, no, I don't know that. Remember she flew down during his last vacation? She uh, flew down. Was there any reference to when? Mm. Uh, like no, because like, he keeps conflating vacation with this particular time off. Vacation. So not necessarily sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know what? I got a feeling, man. Yeah. Uh, he just went way too long where he just blew her off. And now they've seen each other in a matter of like a few weeks, it seems like. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. So sums up. Sums up, man. Uh oh, she had a bar mitzvah. Her late father was Jewish. She had a bar mitzvah in 2019 when she was 40. Um, she became a Eritrean citizen in 2019. She used to be with the rapper Common for a minute. Well, why uh, are we talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, who gives a crap? DUI arrests. Um, two DUI arrests. Yeah, so we're still talking about this person. Child sexual abuse allegations. Oh, nah, nah, there we go. Mm. Okay, that's weird. I wonder if he'll bring any of that up. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? We'll we'll come back to this when we come back to it. We should go. And where are the jokes? I need to. Uh, I need to do my own little deep dive into this now, so I can see exactly. Yeah. What if anybody out there has any kind of information for me about it. By all means, let me know. Um, tomorrow, Howard will be playing his song, I Don't Want to Go to Italy for Us. So I'm sure it's going to be exciting. And oh. There's still no guests, so he'll just be riffing. And uh, and yeah, I think that's all we got. Well, Mo, I have a question. Is Tiffany and Jelly Roll A-listers, B-listers? I don't know. So you, who are a prolific concert goer and one of my favorite oh. music muses, no. never heard of Jelly Roll until we talked today. Like yeah, he had no. no idea who he was. So how popular could he possibly be? He if was on Judy Tenuta doesn't know. Wait, him? remember well, a month or so ago, uh, Baba Booey was with him. Remember? There's a, if you well, go to Baba Booey's Instagram. Remember? Don't you guys remember last year? Howard comes out and says, "You know, I like that Jelly Roll guy. He's really interesting." Blah 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 blah. And he said at the time, "I can guarantee you." that they are trying to get him on the show. This is why this is why they're talking about it. So here's Mr. Jelly Roll for you, the roll of gel. Uh the roll of gel. Here he is. So he's going to be hosting the CMA festival, I don't know, a CMT. So here he is. He's really he's that guy. He's that guy. Yeah, that's his He looks guy. like a DJ Kelly's cousin or something. He's like Fat Post Malone. That's what he is. He's like Fat yeah. Post Malone. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about him really, except for this one song that a friend of mine had played for me. And yeah, so uh, country music's kind of a blind spot for me. So same. I, I mean, same. So I, I he's huge. I don't know. I passed you the only song I knew of him today, and so that's all I got. All I got is that. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, there's something to be said for people who do facial tattoos, which I always think is kind of insane. I mean, that's really kind of like, I have definitely fucked with my life now and it's kind of over, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. All right, my friends. So that is it for tonight. Um, it was interesting only because Beth was on and now if she's not on tomorrow, it's going to be even worse. So <laughs> that's all we got. That's all we got. Um, have a wonderful night. Thank you, as always, for participating with us. We really do appreciate um, you guys who who come here and uh, engage us in the chats and in the comments because we really do. We really do appreciate you guys, and we always want you to know that. Okay? So have an awesome night, and we will see you in on. 
Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.